Lads, great weather here. It was a great day. Davey, we start with yourself. You had a second and a third, obviously. Not not a winning day, but it was a good day all around. Horses ran well. Yeah, a couple of good races, you know. Um, uh, the leading light horse uh, ran very well in the maiden. I thought I rode a good race. I thought I had a chance of getting there at the last, and he just experienced my right, caught, caught him out a little there bit. There was a you know. three way tie for leading today. James, you had a winner today. We, we've seen defense. you had three winners <laughs> last week <laughs> in. Um, and you're meeting in Great Meadows, so it's been a good week for you. Uh, Scorpion's Revenge won today. Um, Nice horse this lad, he won a bumper for you in Cork, back home, and then you sold him to here. Yep. It's um, great to come over and witness the, the, you know, the American racing, you know, we still a lot of old horses over here, so actually to get over and see him running, it was extra special, and as you say last week, we had a nice weekend with three winners, and to get a winner today, it was also special, so yeah, no, thrilled. Kerry Brown's done a great job with those horses that you sell to her. Definitely, yeah, and uh, in fairness, Kerry picked out the Scorpion's Revenge for Irvin Diane Naylor, Sir Murphy training, so yeah. Thank Curry for that one as well. And Sean Mumbe Extreme won the last race here, the Timber Race. We've seen him winning last Sunday and he won again today. Uh, it's great for you to be able to sell horses out here that are winning as well. Oh, brilliant, Davey. And over the Timber jumps there, the experience at a point to point really stood to him. He was second in a maiden first time out, but all the work that was done before he came out here in the sand ring when we break him, we would have done a lot of jumping with poles and things. And I'd say we'll, we'll aim to sell more horses like this. These are top class horses out here now, so it's great. Davey, these boys do a great job. I know you're heavily involved with them in terms of through source, store sales and schooling and riding a few horses for owners that you know that will buy these horses. These guys do a great job. Yeah, but you need, you need, you need a good horse now. You need a talented horse. It takes a good horse to come out here and win, you know. Um, these aren't just ordinary horses. Like these horses showed plenty of ability at home. They could have been good horses at home, but luckily enough, uh, Kerry put up her hand there for a few of them, and the other trainers are, are Leslie are happy to put up their hand for these horses. But these horses will compete well at home, just as well as they compete over here. So it's 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 no it's no give me over give me it's no give me over here. Like you know, it's there's tough racing and. and like that maiden I rode in, rode as good a maiden, you'd be, you'd be getting this time of year, you know? Yeah. Uh, James, we spoke about how you bowled and all last week. Like, he was a maiden hurdle winner in Leopardstown at Christmas. That's right, um, yeah. Baltimore Kids, um, a horse that you've always liked a lot. So, uh, it's great for the point-to-point -point scene that not, they're not only staying in Ireland and England, but they're coming out here and being able to win. The, as Davy said, these are very competitive races. Brilliant, Davy. Sure, like in fairness to Sean and the boys in Mumbai, and sure ourselves, and sure, like even like at Colin Bow and Dennis Murphy, point of point trainers have also maybe you know different horses over the years to America, but they're all nice horses. You know that they, they could have been probably sold to Ireland or England, but it's nice to see them coming over here and doing it as well because they're pretty nice horses. A uh, small country it is, Sean, but it just shows how powerful Ireland is in horse racing, especially in national hunts. Oh yeah, and they're, most of the jockeys there, like the Barry John Foley, they're all the winner of the first, and a few other lads there, they're all doing really well out here, and it's great to see, it's just brilliant, and hopefully it open up a few more gaps and get more good horses sold here, so it's like, it's, 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 it's even better than Cheltenham here today, the atmosphere is unreal, like it's, it's unbelievable, so I'm really delighted we came out now to see that, and great, great few days. Brilliant, well done lads.